Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And all roads lead to Rome. We're here at the Stadio Olimpico. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by Lee Dixon. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It is Roma facing Milan. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Plenty of chatter from the pundits as regards Edin Dzeko. And the rumours have been confirmed. He's elected to end his illustrious career at the end of this campaign. A massive loss for the club league. Yeah, it really is. Obviously, he's going to be missed very much here. He's a key player on the pitch and in the dressing room. No doubt they'll be looking at the transfer window ahead to try and strengthen and fill that gap he's going to leave. Well, we've all been looking forward to this. And it's Roma who get things started. This, the Roma starting eleven. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And a chance for them to nudge in front. That will give them quite the lift. An early opening goal, Lee. Well, you always want to start quickly, and there's a, certainly a quick start there. What a finish. Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And from that sort of range, there's only one winner. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And playing once again with Roma in front. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Leonardo Spinazzola. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. It needs an accurate cross. Smuggled away. It's with Cengiz Under. And he takes it on. Oh, surely. And this time, it's in. And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. Rodriguez. Goretzka. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And news coming through of a goal in the Napoli game. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal for Napoli. 30 minutes played. It has to be. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. And a throw in it's going to be. Richarlison. Sousa as clean as a whistle that challenge here's Cristante it's with Cengiz Under and across the touchline so a throw in here they've given it away I believe there's been a goal in the Lazio game. That news coming through. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Lazio. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, great read there to intercept. 
Genghis Under. Mele. Now Dzeko. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Dzeko. He's got to score! They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, Derek, this is why coaches tell you to stop the cross from coming in. But they didn't get tight enough from a punish for it. A chance to revisit the goal. So, 2-0 now. Roma in total control of possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Well, it came to nothing in the end. There's been a change to the scoreline I'm hearing in the Atalanta match. Alan McAdavi with the details. It's a second goal for Atalanta. 27 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. And whipped into the box. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Dzeko, Pellegrini, can he take the chance? It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much, really, the keeper can do. It's a good play to get in that position. He's not going to miss from there. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Chalanoru. Andres Silva. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can he take advantage? Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. And now the delivery. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Couldn't keep it. Andre Silva. Now they stopped them in their tracks. On the ball, Zaniolo. Spinazzola. Ferro. Leonardo Spinazzola. A tremendous vision. Pellegrini. And a throw in it's going to be. Charleson, Andre Silva, Goretzka, Rodriguez. He continues to make hay. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Pellegrini, and that was a very fine read. Sousa with it. Andres Silva. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. 
Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game late. Yeah, he struggled to get the ball in the right areas. I think you can put that down to his teammates a little bit. The service he's got is not up to scratch, but he's also not creating enough space for himself, not making the right run. And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? And that's an important intervention. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Getting forward. And scope for the cross. Cleared away. Nicolo Zaniolo. There's been a change to the scoreline, I'm hearing, in the Atalanta match. Alan McAdavi with the details. It's a third goal for Atalanta. It's been scored by Luis Muriel. A magnificent dipping shot from the edge of the area. 48 minutes played. 3-0. Alan McAdavi with his finger on the pulse. And very deftly cut out. And it should be a thrilling match in Serie A, the one we've got coming up for you on EA TV. It's Roma against Sassuolo. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. On the ball, Richarlison. Andre Silva. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Relentless high pressing. Well, it should be a top notch match from Serie A, the one we've got coming up on EA TV. It's Milan up against Napoli. Yeah, I'm pretty. And heading it just over the bar. Yeah, he thinks he's in, he thinks he's scored, and he's just over the bar. Ruben Neves, Carvajal, Joel Linton. What can he do from here? Richarlison, not too fussy in clearing his lines. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Promising sequence. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Suso. Richarlison. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Genghis Under. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. No real threat, you've got to say. Suso. It's with Joel Linton. Poor pass under no real pressure. Pellegrini, Cristante, here's De Frel. not a fan. real chance, well that's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now, absolutely dominant. Well look at this Derek, sometimes the opposition are all set up perfectly for you to dribble through them. It's almost like he's playing FIFA. He goes through and puts the ball in the back of the net. It's brilliant. Well, they've been poor all day, Derek, and your sense there's going to be a rollicking in that dressing room after the game. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. Pellegrini, it'll be a corner.
Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Played into the centre of the box. I'll tell you what, when the keeper looks lost as he was there, you've got to be ruthless. Well, big target, big chance, big flop. Joel Linton. Good looking sequence. Couldn't keep it. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Read it superbly to take back possession. News of a goal in the Atalanta game. Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Atalanta. 77 minutes played. 4 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Spinazzola. Here's De Frel. Chorich has it. Genghis Under. Is it going to be? Well, it might still work out for them. It's fair to say that is a moment he would love to have back, Lee. Well, I would have gone for power, but he went to place it in the corner. Not very good at all. Carvajal. Given away. Cristante. And that's the kind of challenge that was required coming in from Ricardo Rodriguez. And news of a goal in the Inter game, I'm hearing. Alan McAnally can fit us in. It's a third goal for Inter. Six minutes remain. 3 0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Spinazzola. Really a very poor ball. Can they switch to an even higher gear? De Frel. Alaba comes up with it. Simple catch, really. Oh, he's given the ball away. De Frel, and now passing it through. And in it goes! And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Well, the coaches will tell you, pass the ball how you would like to receive it. Perfectly weighted, and he finished it off brilliantly. Let's have another view of that goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Suso has it. Joel Linton. Fazio. Pastore. Mele. Genghis Under. And the referee says that is all for today. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.